Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, Jeff. Remember the other yeah. day when you were saying you didn't have a viral video? <laughs> I have no idea what you're speaking of. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny that that video is going to come out after your viral video now. It It, it is because and it's. Uh, I was just rendering the titles for the video. And to make a title of a video, I don't know how you do it, but would these Space Chickens ones? I literally will click somewhere in the middle of the video and find what were we talking about during this particular video yep. and make a random title based on yeah. something that happens around the midpoint of the video. That's basically what I do, too. Unless, it like, recently it's been because we've been going to these new planets. It's like, now we're on Juniper or whatever. You know? Right. But, yeah. Right. Yeah, so I clicked today trying to, you know, put the... Oh, what, what's... I don't know. I think it's 113... Maybe. I don't remember which one it was. And I was like, oh, this is the video of talking about viral videos <laughs> that dude's all like, I don't know. And then, Jeff, what have you ever done when you get all these <laughs> news corporations trying to get your videos? <laughs> and I'd never had anything go viral before. So um, I guess my first question, there's so much I want to ask. Uh, but hey, do you want to go do that dungeon on Uranus while we're talking about this? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about my anus for. <laughs> But, okay, hold on. I just made an eraser. Oh, oh really? You're going to get rid of that colored shit? It doesn't work! Oh, yeah, you would try this before. I feel like you did what? this before. Wait, what the hell did I... I, I th eraser? Is it a, a dry eraser? <laughs> like, what is... That eraser is so bright. Holy shit. <laughs> it's like a neon <laughs> carrot or something. Would, would you like to hold it while we go to Uranus? <laughs> <laughs> would you like to hold my eraser? It is so bright. Um, God damn. Dang. What the fuck is it that gets rid of this stuff then? Now, you can't see it. I understand that. But it's they're here. These blocks. <laughs> now that I got the glasses again. Whatever. Whatever. Screw them. Let's go. Let's go to Uranus. And, all right. and talk about random things. Um, all right. So my first question is, did any... Did you get... Because I've already asked this before. And at the time, you didn't have a video to, to respond to it. Did you get any contacts asking to use your video? Yes, Yee. absolutely. Many, many, many people asking to use the video. Oh, wait, you probably couldn't see me. Let me come back so I can show you which way to go. Oh, yeah, I was going to say because we're up on a... All right, it's this way. South. We have a... We don't have a hold on, we don't have a marker on this place. Where, oh. where are we at, Uranus? Yeah, Uranus. Ura Uranus base. <laughs> base of Uranus, that's what I'm going to call it. Base of Uranus. Okay, done. All right. Um, so what'd you tell them? Uh, so one, I actually told. Yes, you did. You can, you can. I said you can use this video pending. You do one thing, um, and then today I told the, a ma much more major corporation. No, you cannot. Oh, wait, did you? And this to me? is why. Uh, I didn't see where you went. Still, hold on. I'm, um, sure I'm at uh, twenty-five. Positive 571. 25 positive 5 is 25. So you went like a direction, essentially. Yeah, south. Oh, I keep forgetting that there's the, like the coordinates right under the map, and I'm yeah. looking at my F3 screen. <laughs> uh, so what was the major corporation that you told me? Uh, Fox. Fox, okay. Fox. And it's funny because I actually know somebody in this area who works for Fox, and it wasn't her that contacted me about it. And I was just thinking, I wonder if I should call her and make sure this is, like, legit or not. Oh, 571. Shit. I thought you said... I, 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 in my mind, was going to 1571. I don't know why, and now I can't get back to... What the hell? I went way past this. This is, like, really close. Yeah, yeah, it's just right, right here. Uh, hold on. Hold on, why can't I get my cordons to move the way I want them to? There we go. The creepers are blue. I'm assuming you're in here? Yeah, because... it's not, it doesn't look like one from the top. I got lucky finding yeah. it, honestly. Yeah, this does not look like one from the top. Whoa, they are blue creepers. That's weird. Whoa, how did you... Whoa, you got real lucky finding this yeah. thing. Yeah. There we go. I am I am in this place. Um, so the and, and the thing is, I would tell people yes, but I think my video is like different than yours. Well, I've I've had it 
Oh no. Wow. You got so lucky finding this dude. Wait, but I hear them. Uh, that way. Wow, this sucks. Okay. Uh, Whoa, I hear baby zombies. For yeah, sure. Me too. Oh, it's a cave. Oh. Uh, well, we need to go find... And this is blue? At least we know what color it is because that's, that's going to be harder to even understand. You know, because I had it for the parking lot videos, too. So, um, so you had, you had a similar, you, your situation I feel was way worse than mine, uh, in the response that you received locally. Like, I had, I had, I had the whole city council come out to my house, um, and they, and they, they put down some, uh, uh, some gravel in my yard and, and then that sort of thing. But, um, your video wasn't liked locally, right? Can you, how much can you talk about? No, I, I, I'll talk about it all because okay. I, I don't really... It's it's interesting because the video I posted, for those who don't know, you might be seeing a uh, smaller version of it by the time that this actually posts. I'm uh, still debating on whether that's going to go up or not. But long story short, you know, somebody had stolen some packages off of my porch, which is not the first time that this has happened in the <sighs> D.C. area. And it's not the first time I've run into a theft at even my new property. My new property has already experienced theft since I've been here. It's not me like what you call the greatest neighborhood in the world. But I had installed security cameras for it and happened to... What is this? There's igloos. I just found an igloo. Yeah, that's what I just found as well. There's chests like, there's... in it. Wait, really? Yeah. Inside. Oh, yeah, there's a bed. Well, this one's got, got water. Chest. It's got a floppy disk with uh, Lua IDE. Fancy. Fire Aspect 2 book. I'll take that. A Chocopedia. I don't know why that would be in here, but it's a Chocopedia. Um, so, you know, basically it was, a, it was a somebody stealing packages off my porch and a theft caught on camera. But if it wasn't for that, I happened to find the person. So I'm, the I'm curious... What? How? What? <laughs> so, like, when I'm watching this video, I'm like, wait, wait, Jeff just went out in the street and found this guy? Like, how long did that yeah, take? so I walked out of my house, and I came home, and I was like, I knew a package had gotten delivered because I had gotten a, an email confirmation stating, like, you had a package delivered to me. Yeah. I was like, sweet, I know this is the pieces to my microphone to fix it. I'm excited, and I got home from work, and I went out to the mailbox, and I'm looking, and I'm like, there's nothing in the mailbox. There's no packages around, and usually if anything big gets delivered to us, we have a downstairs door, and they'll usually put it in front of the downstairs door because of the concept of theft in my neighborhood. And there's nothing around, nothing in the mailbox. It was a small item, so I was like, Julie, did you, like, pick up any mail or anything like that? And she's like, No. And she, she'd been home during the day. Like, she was home all day working. So nobody knocked on the door to deliver a package. It was literally just, like, packages were delivered. And I assumed that my package was in the mailbox because it was very small. And nothing was there. So I was like, okay, could be a delivery error, marking something up as being delivered when it really wasn't. I've dealt with that before as well. So I was like, let me pull up the security camera footage and see when the mail person got here and if they dropped anything off. And they literally dropped two boxes because our neighbor downstairs had also ordered a box, apparently, that had come at the same time. Dropped them the first time ever just right on the front porch in very plain sight from anybody who wants to, like, gander at this stuff. So I'm looking and I'm like, oh, okay. The mail person dropped off packages at the doorstep. And I'm looking at them on my, my security camera like, oh, crap. Okay, obviously, these things must have been stolen. Yeah. So I go forward a little bit in the footage, and they're still there. And I go forward a little bit in the footage, and they're still there. And I go forward a little bit in the footage, and they're still there. And I'm like, what is going on? Like, I'm now <laughs> 10 minutes before I got, in the, got home. And I'm looking at, like, you know, it's like 3.10 in the afternoon or something like that. And they're still sitting on my porch. <laughs> and it's like 3.30 at the time. Oh, and man. Like, wow. So it, it, so it hadn't been long then. No, it hadn't been long at all. And then I see all of a sudden this guy show up in the footage and pick up the packages and walk away. <laughs> so I was like, oh, what the heck is going on? Um, 
Oh, God, I need to turn off my phone. Sorry. Getting a phone call. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? So I walked outside and I walked the direction that this person had gone. And in the bushes, about five houses down, I see the bo- one of the boxes. And I reached down and I picked it up and it's empty. Yeah. So just picked up, like ripped up whatever was in it out of the box and threw the uh, package on the ground. So I went back home and I told Julia what had happened. And I'm like, oh, this is annoying. And I said, I'm going to take a walk out the back and see if maybe they threw whatever they realized that these, this is nothing that they're going to be able to utilize for anything. Maybe they threw the package, the rest of the package, somewhere around the corner. Right. Where they, you know, when the, once they realized it was useless. So I walked up around the house again, back to where the package was at. I kept walking, walked around the corner. I started kicking around some leaves, seeing if anything's like buried anywhere. And I get in the alley behind my house and I start walking toward the house. And I look up and I see the, the dude from the video just walking <laughs> down the alley. Okay, so you weren't actually going out to find dude originally. That just no, kind of happened. No, my intention was not to find him. It was to find the contents because I assumed he would have dropped them off somewhere because I, I figured he would know that, you know, once he looked at them, he was going to be like, what the hell am I going to do with some USB connectors? Uh, probably, you know, not have any idea what they even were because they were wrapped up in, like, this little teeny box. But they were... From a, I guess it's from a technical person standpoint, they're pretty pointless. But from somebody who doesn't know, it's electronic components, and maybe they thought they were worth something. Like I have no idea what was going through the person's you know mind. And when I saw him, I got on the phone and I, I called Julia real quick, and I was like, Julia, I'm behind the house, and I see this guy, and I'm gonna talk to him. <laughs> and she's like, wait, what? She's like, I'm going to let, let me make a few phone calls while, while you do this. So she hangs up the phone. <laughs> and that's when I started recording on my phone. So that's why it was literally I was trying to get my phone camera working on my phone as this guy was approaching me. And he, like, walks up next to me. And he actually walked past me a little bit. And he was like, hey, man, how's it going? And I was like, right when I hit, like, the camera record button, I finally, like, got it functioning on my phone. And that's when the, the video starts. Is I was like... You took some stuff from me. Like, we need to talk. <laughs> so, that uh, that whole thing happened in that basically, like, time frame and arena. Um, and I got the footage off of the security camera and ended up making a video out of it and putting it up on YouTube, which turned out to be... Not exactly like I intended because I didn't put it up there just as it happened. Right. I don't think, you know, I watched your video. I don't think you did anything wrong. And I would agree that I didn't do anything wrong, but it was perceived that I did. And it was perceived that I did, and the video got taken by multiple news corporations multiple blogs and multiple different reddits and blew up and got cancerous it feels it feels like anytime there's that many eyes on anything it doesn't matter what the subject matter is it's going to end up cancerous i feel so here's the here's the problem with it for the viewers who are seeing this and have no idea like what i'm talking about i the my security cameras did not record any audio of the interaction of the the theft happening and i put an audio voiceover on it trying to play like the like the world's dumbest criminals tv show type of deal just saying stupid things and many people perceived that i was being completely racist in doing such things now they're not- because, see, I saw someone on Reddit talking about it, and they were just mad. They weren't mad about your commentary. They were just mad. They only wanted the video posted if if it had been someone, a oh Caucasian just, person, that had stolen I, your package. I just ran out of jet fuel not paying attention. Oh, at Jesus four, Christ. Negative 4,000, negative 2,000. Um, hmm. It's going to be a long drive back. Yeah, dude, holy shit. All right, I guess I'll go get a teleporter. Oh, wait, pad. actually, do, wait, do I have a teleporter? Let me see. I have plenty of oxygen. I might be able to make it back. I just didn't even pay attention. I was looking for a dungeon so hardcore and getting into the story. 
Uh, I have a teleporter and a tesseract. I actually am okay. Okay, okay. I just teleported back for no reason then. Um... <laughs> so well, there was so there was a. Just, yeah, I guess to be to be fair, there was a lot of. Uh, is this just a? Te I might just have a tesseract frame. Wait, how do you interact with the tesseract again? Oh, you need the wrench, right? Yeah. No. No, the uh, the multimeter. I have the multimeter. It's not doing anything. That's what I thought I needed. Oh, I just need to right click on it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. With, that's right, with yeah. nothing else. Which way were you going? I'm at negative. Negative four thousand, negative two thousand, essentially. Okay, all right. I'm going west then. Oops. Need that. Need this. Um. So yeah, there was many factors of people being upset with the video, but I will admit, ninety nine percent of them, I did not agree with and don't care about oh, those went west. people's comments of negativity. Um. It ranged from people thinking I had balls of steel for approaching somebody who took my items to people thinking I was the biggest pussy in the world for approaching somebody who took my items. Wait, how does that like, make you a pussy? Co contradictory items. It didn't make any sense. And that stuff I found hilarious because I was like, "Are you, really? Like, <laughs> this makes zero sense whatsoever. Um... What I was upset about, and people were constantly like, they, they were being negative toward my haircuts, toward the. Room. I, you know, you mentioned that earlier, and I didn't. I, I was. We were gonna wait yes, to talk about the video. What about your haircut? Multiple people said I had a howdy doody haircut, and how despicable I am for that. Honestly, that stuff, I don't give a shit about. I have a <laughs> thick skin. I can deal with that. That does not bother me. Oh, so ridiculous. But people perceived, because I had done a voiceover of this guy in that dumb criminal voice, and people thought I was trying to play a, like, underprivileged black person, which was not the intent and not what I did at all, but they that's how they took it. And so there was a lot... Uh, I mean, that voice doesn't even speak to that. Like, if you've anyone that's seen, like, Chappelle show or any kind of comedy that actually portrays such a role, like, that, the voice you were giving wasn't that. Like, that's so just basically I, bullshit. I would uh, completely agree with you. However, it was so bad to the point where people were discussing making sure I get reported to my employer's for being racist because obviously they would not want to deal with this. Like, things to the point that was so ridiculous that it was better for me to remove that video. No, I completely understand why you did it. It's just bullshit. It makes me mad. Like... Oh, I agree with you. And that's why I said, I, the video itself, I have absolutely no issues with. I understand in watching it back why some people could, per could possibly perceive it as... Was this guy trying to be racist when he did this? But more of a as a question mark, because it wasn't like it obviously was not a clearly somebody's trying to do something horrible and bad in this video. But a is this what he was trying to accomplish from this type of deal? And I don't know. It's I've never experienced a viral video before to know how horrible some things can go <laughs> and it got to the point where it was just it wasn't worth it to have the items that I started to question myself on oh my god if people really think that's why I did this voiceover like maybe they're right and it does come <laughs> across as racist uh <laughs> There's Maybe a lot of I am a think racist. It was racist just to put the video up because the person in the video wasn't a white person. Yeah, I saw that person and, complain about that on Reddit. That's like, ridiculous. Yeah, somebody somebody also started a whole thread on completely thinking security cameras should be illegal because it's unfair to unknowingly be recording people walking down the street because if they want to do something illegal, they should have the right to. <laughs> Jesus like, Christ! I was like, wow, this is. 
<sighs> this is a little crazy. You should um, not have recorded this person stealing your things. You're you're the criminal here. Oh god, multiple, multiple <laughs> people. Like it got picked up by a local blog here, and most of the comments in there were about the whole voiceover. And there was a big debate going in those comments about the voiceover and why somebody actually said it was quote unquote paramount to blackface and how they couldn't watch it anymore because of that. Which to which there was a lot of replies of that's not the vibe I got from that voiceover at all. I don't know why you're thinking that, but it was such a like 50 50 mix. Right. And that's the one thing I regret. If anything about that video, that's the only thing I regret about that video is I should have just left it just in completely. Raw it was funny. Think. I, I mean, I would agree, but I, I, and I did it knowing the intent that I did it in. But people, no matter what, will always question your intent and think you're lying. Right. Well, I mean, it was deal. funny li watching. Well, it wasn't funny. It was sad watching your your apology video. But watching your apology video, and you're saying, "I made this video for my audience," and that's what my parking lot video was. It was a funny mm -hmm. video for my audience that became something completely different. Right. Not not as bad as your situation. I mean, in my situation, like they gave me money and 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 paved my yard or not my yard, but uh, put gravel yeah. in my driveway. I, I but no, I got no money or no <laughs> paved yard. Uh, so yeah, I actually drove by there the other day. There was a giant dump truck parked there. I I st I, I really did wanted... you charge him? <laughs> I, I I think I, actually it wasn't a dump truck. It was like an eighteen wheeler. But it had like a bunch of like pods on the back. I think they might have just been parking there temporarily to walk across the street because there's a gas station across the street. Because uh, when I came back, it wasn't there, so I think they were just like just quickly parking there. But it just kind of made me giggle for a second. Like, <laughs> can't, can't. So I will say that I have no problem with the video being posted and being live of the confrontation and the security camera footage. I have no issue with that, and a lot of people think that that's even a bad thing to put up there. Because I'm multiple of the comments were talking about putting things online for somebody who obviously can't defend themselves in that venue and how wrong that is. And that I completely disagree with the assessment of. It's yeah. a, either public place or my place. Yeah. That this footage was taken. I have every right to utilize that footage. In that way. So and, Julia called the police, I assume, right? Yes, Julia is the one who called the police. And the police actually did get involved. A lot of people don't realize that. Um, and that might upset some people because there are some people that are more about the vigilante justice than anything else. But many people were very upset that the, the police weren't involved. And the police were involved. It just wasn't shown in the video because the police were called before the confrontation happened. And I walked back into my house and the police were knocking on the front door when I walked back into my house <laughs> after the confrontation. And I pulled them inside, showed them the video, and said I would just talk to the guy in the back and got some of the stuff back. And they immediately went out to the back and found him. And I guess arrested so, him? So, uh, I, don't, I don't think he got arrested. Why not? I don't, I, I'm not 100% certain. Um, I mean, I don't really care. But and, I feel like I he honestly, broke the law. Like, he should just... Well, and I don't even care if he gets arrested at this point. I am happy that not only did I confront him, so he knows, like, I'm not going to stand up for this, but also the police talk to him. So he knows it's more than just him and I type of deal. Right. Because he could have just taken a big grudge against me for confronting him, but it's I talked to him and then the police did. If he doesn't even get arrested at this point, like, I think that still puts a message across. I feel Maybe like, you know, he's Maybe probably got other things wrong in his life That's, to the point it that it probably there's probably no definitive way to help someone in his situation. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's possible. Here, here's the thing, though. Like, we've only lived in this house for a, a short time frame. We've yeah. already had two bicycles stolen off our back porch, which is what spawned us to get these cameras. Right. Our neighbor behind us had his garage broken into about a week before he moved in, and he had 19 bikes stolen. 19 he even said i have a bike problem but <laughs> 19 bikes stolen that's absurd so i would stop buying bikes it, but it's it's, it's like an addiction a, or something <laughs> but it, it's one of those things where it's it's not just us it's the yeah. neighborhood has a problem and needs to be kind of quote unquote exposed for it and if people know that things are being taped 
and things are going to get out there and the whole pub like the whole public like a many people are going to see the acts you're committing it's going to be an incentive to stop doing it right and i don't think people understand that like there is a dual purpose many people were upset because i thanked him at the end and that's where i was a pussy as well um because I thanked him at the end, and that's just part of a, a, a de-escalation tactic of making sure things didn't get out of hand. Like, I think the situation was handled perfectly fine for what it was, Yeah. but I'm not Reddit. Man, something gets posted in our videos, and it just can go anywhere. Yep, and that's what I figured out, and I kind of never want to figure it out again, but at the same time, I don't mind... Having things like that exposed in a viral fashion, I just wish there wasn't as much connotation that I was a racist and like that, that came from it because yeah. I don't think it portrayed that at all, but it very negatively can impact me, even though that was not the intent or, in my mind, any rational person would not have taken it that way. I found another but, dungeon. That didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, you did? Yeah. Because I'm back on Uranus looking for one. Okay. Um, it's at 2,000-2,000. Or 2,900. We're also out of time, though. I don't know if you want to oh, shit. do it next time. Though. Well, guys, next episode. <laughs> this video will be viral by then. <laughs> may, may they all be viral. <laughs> yes, may they all be viral. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys.